And welcome back, everybody, to the 2019 Beer City Open live from Grand Rapids, Michigan at Belknap Park, one of my favorite places to play. And we have a very exciting match here for you. This is the women's singles gold medal match. Out there we have Irina Tarashenko and Michelle Ascaval. And that's exciting. And equally as exciting is the guest commentator we are going to be having for this match. And I didn't tell her this, but I'm about to put her on camera as well here. So please welcome here, Lindsay Newman. What's going on? Hi, hi, hi. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, are you excited about this? I am. I am. I've been watching a lot of matches today, and this one was definitely one that I was excited to watch. Yeah. Always love to see these two out there playing. Yeah. Let me just tell you. The crowd out there is sick and tired of Webby and I saying, oh, that was a really good shot. <laughs> they want to know the technical side okay. of pickleball that we just can't bring to them, and we're hoping you can. I don't know if I can, but I'll, I'll try my best. I'll, I, uh, I'll try to give some, uh, some of them the inside scoop on everything, and this will be fun no matter what. I feel like you got it. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to go back to the match while I get the scoreboard updated here. And looks like we have our first serve already. Started. What a great shot by Michelle. Starting it off early. All right, 1 0. Another one. I feel like this match is going to have a lot of drives from the baseline, a lot of passing shots. It'll be a. Uh, a lot of baseline banging, that's for sure. Yeah, these uh, both these both both of these players have very very strong ground strokes, that's yep. for sure. Similar game styles too. I think they both like to bang, but are also very very comfortable at the net at the kitchen line. So it'll be close. I think they played played previously today, and it went into three with Michelle just pulling it out. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one went into three as well. Well, I see we have a very quick timeout here. Yep. And uh, did you happen to catch the score before they went on top? it's 3-0 now, Michelle. All right. Thank you for that. All right. We want to give a quick shout-out to our sponsors here. These are the Silver Tier 3 sponsors of the 2019 Beer City Open. Bosch Kilman Vanderwall. BKV is a full-service law firm with 11 attorneys assisting clients throughout West Michigan and the Lakeshore. Engage Pickleball. Engage, believe, and perform. A Florida-based manufacturer of paddles and balls known for their precision and power. Visit their booth in the vendor area. And we are back in action, folks. It's a side out. Michelle just missed that shot. Just went into the net. So Irina will take her first time serving of the match. Went a little long there. Yep. Another quick side out. Oh, Arena tried to go around the post, and I think she just missed it short. So that will be a point for Michelle, 4-0. Little long. Little long. Irina has a chance to get on the scoreboard. Wide. It's going back and forth a little bit. I think both players feel a little bit of pressure to make every ball a really good shot and uh, make another person play. Oh. Oh wow. wow. That's unlucky. Wow. Serve. Just served it wide. Yeah. Deep, I guess. Oh. 
too good. Michelle just flicked that backhand right behind Irina and it just dropped in, so Michelle will be serving the next point. You've had your share of matches against Michelle in singles, haven't you? I have, and she's not my favorite person to play against because she just <laughs> gets everything back and makes good shots all the time, so it's very annoying. <laughs> I do not like it one bit. All right. She's strong. I think singles, I think, is something she prefers over doubles, um, even though she's just as strong in doubles as she is in singles. So. Did I hear 2-5 over there? Yes, 2-5. Okay. That was just out. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. That was a smart shot by Arena. I think she saw Michelle going the other way and she just plopped it right behind her. It's a great shot. Side out. It's a very rare miss from Michelle. Oh, there we go. Wow. It's a great shot. I'm assuming that shot takes a lot of uh discipline and control. Yes. She was she I think was waiting on that one. Irena just dropped it right into the kitchen and I don't think Michelle had a chance at that one. She was too far back. It was a really, really smart shot. The tournament director really wants to talk to Adam Stone now. This is the second time. Yeah. Anyway, where's Adam? Adam Stone has gone MIA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, serve was long. Quick side out. Oh, oh wow. wow. That's a good point. Those are the points we like to see. We love those points. <laughs> yeah, we do. We love them. They might not. They don't. But, but we, we do. do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great point. Michelle's shot was just long. Not by much. Looks like a little long there. Yep. I'm telling you, when you're playing against someone on the other side of the net that's just solid, it it creates more pressure, and you're having to make just the perfect shots to get a point. So, it makes things definitely interesting. Oh, wow. Wow. Good placement by Arena. Oh. 
nice hard drive by Michelle and Arena tried and just hit it out. Oh, oh wow. That was nasty. <laughs> that was nasty. That was the word that came to mind for that me as was. well. <laughs> so good. Wow. That just stayed really low to the net. Wow. They're both doing a good job when they're at the net by making the other person run. Making them hit shots on the run, which is really, really hard to do sometimes. Irina shot a little wide there. Yep. Not by much. Six, seven. Oh, I think Michelle was just a step or two behind the kitchen, and that was kind of an awkward spot to be. And Irene had just dropped it over the net, and it landed at her feet, which was would have been a really hard pickup for Michelle. Side out. A little long. The wind, I think, is starting to pick up a little, too. So that could change things just a little bit. So, Irina, the wind is at her face. Yes. What is she going to do now to adjust her game for that? I mean, she's doing a really good job keeping balls low. She mm -hmm. just missed that one. Michelle caught it off guard. Um, as long as she can keep the balls nice and low, continue to make Michelle move, I think that'll be, that'll be her game plan from here on out. Well, she was just yelling something at herself yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> I think she was yelling, come on. Yeah. She wants to get a couple more points here, pad the lead a little bit more. 7-7. Seven, seven. Wow, too Ooh, good. Unbelievable shot wow. there. Michelle was able to roll that low ball over the net and catching Irina going the other way. That was a great shot. was wide. We're doing the best we can here to keep you guys updated on the score. Uh, some refs have very loud voices. Yeah. Others don't. She unfortunately does not. And it's no fault of hers. It's just sometimes it's a little challenging to stay on top of it here. We also had headphones on. So yes. It's a little <laughs> bit hard to read lips here. Even if she was yelling, I think it'd be kind of hard to hear. A little more challenging. We'll, we'll do a better job of that, though. Ooh. Point, Michelle. Point, yeah. All right, 8-7. Irina needed a big gust to win there, and she didn't get it. She's taking a timeout. Yes. Michelle's leading 9-7, first game. Yeah, Irina visibly frustrated by that. Yep. Uh, I do want to tell you guys here, though, that we told you we were going to have prizes for all of these matches we're going to be streaming the rest of the night. And I'm going to bring the camera back up here again and show you what the next prize is. And that is a Paddletech Bantam EXL signed by none other than Irina Tereshenko. Wow. 
Guess how you're eligible to win this? By sharing this Pro Pickleball stream. By sharing it on Facebook. You guys are watching it on Facebook. Share it, and then you are eligible. At the end of the match, out of all the people that shared, we're going to be picking one winner. And you want to be that winner, guys, because this paddle is absolutely amazing. We are back in action. Oh, point Michelle. 10-7. Game point coming up for Michelle. It's a beautiful passing shot. Wow. Uh, and like that. Game one, Michelle. Do you uh do you feel that the wind at Irina's face that kind of picked up towards the second half of the match played a little bit of role in that? I think so. She had at least two or three shots that just hit the tape, hit the top of the net and fell back on her side. So I think after after the switch coming up here, I think a lot of those shots will begin to just fall over the net and it could be a different game for sure coming up. I think Irena's going to want some revenge here. She's going to want to take this into three games and I think there's a good chance that'll happen. Okay. So if you're Michelle and you kind of saw the struggles that Irena had towards the end, what adjustments are you going to make to your game knowing that the the wind is going to be a little bit of a factor? Well, you got to you got to increase your uh your ball is going over the net. I think Arena was cutting a, a few of them a little too close. You got to bring the balls up just a little bit. Give yourself, um, you know, less margin of error from here on out. And, you know, I haven't seen any lobs yet. I personally like to lob, but we haven't seen any of those yet today. So maybe throw one or two of those in. Who knows? And do you prefer to lob into the wind or against the wind or in a no win condition? Oh. I mean, no, no condition, no wind is always better. Okay. But, um, I don't know. I think going into the wind is challenging. So I think I would, that's my vote. Going into the wind. Okay. Lob into the wind. Lob into the wind. Yes. You guys heard it here from Lindsay Newman. <laughs> I don't know if that's right, but that's what I would do. You know what? Uh, Webby and I got beat pretty bad today, and it's because I didn't lob into the wind. There you go. So now See? I know. See, now you know. That was the key to the, key to the match right there. Now I know what I did wrong. <laughs> oh, I love it. Well, all right, so Irina's going to come out here looking for a little revenge. I think Michelle's up to the challenge. She is. She is. I think both players are used to playing in high-pressure situations. I think they both kind of strive on that, so this would be a good game, too, no matter what. Love it. As you guys can see out there, Noah Waddell is uh, passing out little treats and fun things for the crowd. Yes. I this wonder what's in that. Tournament. This is a fun tournament that yeah? they do that. This is, I think... The only tournament that I've seen that they consistently pass out different fun goodies to everyone watching, and that just makes things a little bit more fun. So okay. It's good. Yeah, I love this tournament. Definitely yeah, one of my favorites here, and they've yeah. done a great job. Andrea Coop, she's over there right now. She's Shout done out. a fantastic job yeah. with everyone. She's she's legit, Andrea, on and off the court, that's for sure. Yeah, solid player. Solid player and it, solid uh, tournament leader here. I mean, it, but, you know, she goes far. Uh, to me, she goes ab above and beyond the duty yeah. of it, right? Yeah. Tournament director is one thing, but social coordinator. Yeah. Making everybody feel at home. Yeah. Andrea, we're she's, talking about you right now. All good stuff. Amazing. Yes. But yeah, she's uh, she's pretty awesome. Yeah, she is. Yeah. All right, here we go. Back in action. Quick point for Irina. Score is 1 0. Oh, can't tell if that was in or out. It looked in from here, but. I didn't see a visual call from Irina. So, yep, there ball we go. was in. Zero one. That shot was wide by Michelle. So side out. Irina's up one zero. Ooh. That was that tape I was talking about. <laughs> that one hit the tape and went over. And the last time she was on, Irina was on the other side. It didn't happen. Oh, wow. Just push that wide. Michelle has that nice two-handed backhand that I'm a big fan of. Yes. Get a lot of roll on that. A lot of topspin. Zero-one still. 
Good pickup. Oh. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. Well, I stand corrected. Yes. <laughs> that one went over. I thought that was trouble. Yeah. Yeah. Those are tough to swallow if you're Irina. That those clip the net and just just get over. Dang. Right, a lot of back and forth. A lot of quick points. Wow. You do not see that a lot, Irina missing a serve into the net. That might be the first one of the whole tournament. Yeah, I have to say, and you know, it's when it happens, it sticks out sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Michelle wishing she could take that shot back. Another one that hit the tape and plopped plopped back on her side of the court. Ooh, just long. So if someone's having it the wind at their face, do you think it makes you overcompensate and push it yeah, like she did there? I think so. I think it does. Oh, that another was a great shot by Arena. <laughs> oh. I think it does. Three one, Irina. Michelle visually, visually frustrated yes. now. What yep. uh, yeah, what are some well, things she can do here to kind of pull it together? She's just had a, a few unlucky shots, and that happens. Just maybe a timeout would be nice. Five one. If I was Michelle, I'd call one right about now. Reset, refocus a little bit, try to stop Irina's momentum. Ooh. Okay, well. Ball didn't bounce much, but. No. <laughs> it's hard to hit if it doesn't it's bounce, hard. right? Yeah, it just kind of died there. One five. Ooh. Oh. Love it. That was an awesome shot. Hit right in that back corner. Irina tried and just couldn't get a paddle on it. Absolutely incredible. Yep. That one was There's long. Point. Three five. Michelle slowly climbing back. Maybe she didn't need that timeout after all. Ooh, a lob. Ah! Wasn't deep enough. But I think at that point, she got caught in the deep corner. I think that was pretty much her only shot to hit there. and Just a little short. Well, she had a good run. She got did. herself back into it. A few points. Stopped the momentum of Irina. Yep. That's all she had to do. Just a few points. Now she's back in the game. Don't know what happened there. Maybe Irina hit that shot wide. I think that was a little wide. Okay. Yep. We have a nice, uh, very professional sunscreen that blocks a little bit of our view here, guys. So yeah. We had some equipment overheating earlier, so please bear with us. <laughs> we also have a computer in front, of, in front of my vision, so I see about half the court right now. <laughs> We're almost at 100 views, guys. I think we can Dang. get there. Dang, let's do it. Keep sharing. Yep. Get yourself in the running for that signed Irina Tarashenko paddle. Free paddle. paddle. You can't beat a free signed paddle, too. I mean, come on, you guys. You cannot beat that. Five three still. Irina's leading. Oh, oh what wow. a shot. What a shot. Incredible. What a shot. That had a good, sharp angle on it. Michelle tried so hard and just couldn't get there. That was a great shot. All right, 6-3 Arena. Ooh, Arena popped it long, and she's not happy about it. Her 
All right, 3-6, Michelle serving. Okay, Irina is upset and is taking a timeout. Okay. You know what, Lindsay? I like yes. pickleball tournaments. I do, too. They're fun, right? Me, too, yes. Guess what? What? We cannot do it without our sponsors. Uh, we cannot. <laughs> Who are our sponsors? Well, let's talk about our Platinum Tier 1 level sponsors. Wow. We have Paddle Tech, a new era of Paddle Tech coming fall 2019. Visit their booth in the vendor area. Perrin Brewing, toasting fine craft beers to Beer City USA since 2012. Make sure you visit the Perrin Brewing Beer Garden, which Webby and I have many times. <laughs> And we will again tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love pickles.org, a place for all things pickled. We relish pickleball. Selkirk Sport. Selkirk. We are pickleball. Visit their booth in the vendor area and Elders Helpers. Live on your own with a helper in your home. They also have a booth in the vendor area here. And guys, if you haven't checked out the vendor area yet, you are missing out. Check it out. I believe it's actually five six now. Do we? We? I think we missed a, a point there. Oh, oh wow! Just missed. I'm gonna listen for the ref here. Yes, six six, six. six. tied up. I think it was six six last game too at one point. Irene's ball seems to win a little yep. long there. Okay. Just a tad. Seven six. Out. Eight six. Irena not very happy. Oh. Oh, she got to it. Oh, oh, smart shot. Very smart shot. I think Irina saw Michelle was back behind the baseline, and she just hit a beautiful drop shot right into the kitchen. Very smart. Pushed a little wide. Wide. Notice this match, too. A lot of times in singles, you'll see that after the return of serve, the player will approach the net and come to the kitchen. But this match, um, both players have kind of stayed back for a few shots and have waited for that good shot they want to come in on. And that's just another strategy. Great wow. shot. Wonderful play there. Awesome shot. Wow. Okay, side out. 8-7, Michelle. Good serve. It's a great shot by Arena. I think it just went in. Is that side out? So many, so many of these shots, Lindsay, are mm -hmm. like right on the line. They're that, from so our perspective, close. it's almost impossible to tell. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of players will not make visual and audio calls. No. So unless you're out there on the court or the referee, it's hard to tell. I believe we have a tied game here again. Yep. Eight, eight. That was out. Tied out, eight, eight. Wow. What a shot there. Michelle was happy about that one with the loud come on. The loud come we on from it. Michelle. We love the yes. Ons. Getting the crowd pumped up. Yep. And boy, do we have a crowd right it's now. A big crowd. I mean, it is 85 degrees and sunny here, and people are bearing through that heat and sun to watch this yeah. match. Almost 7 o'clock, almost dinner time, that's and people right. are still out here watching pickleball and supporting, and that's awesome. Eight, nine. Wow. Irina just served that serve out. Again, something you don't see all the time. She is not happy about that one. It's a crucial, crucial mistake, unfortunately. Absolutely. Dang. Good shot. 
It's out. Side out. Okay, Arena needs to capitalize. She needs one right here. Eight, nine. Oh wow. my gosh! Wow! That was possibly the best shot of the match, I think. There was the no piece. getting that. No, <laughs> no, too good. Okay. Whoa! Oh, wow! That's a great shot. She rolled that backhand very nice. I don't know if Irina thought it was going to go out or if she just lost track of the ball, but wow. I'm still, my, my jaw is yeah. still not yep. closed yet because of how amazing that shot was. 10 8. This is match point for Michelle. Oh, she A little long, a little long. Okay. It's all right. She's probably got the adrenaline going, ready yeah, to. Yeah, she's pumped. Yeah, she is pretty pumped Irina, out there. Irina needs to keep this one. She needs one right here. Wow. Side out. What a shot. Okay. So if Michelle wins this match, it's uh she'll get gold. If she loses, they'll have to go into another one to fifteen. And she wins it. Wow. wow. That was a great match. Absolutely incredible. That was awesome. A nice embrace at the end. Yes, great performances yeah, by both of them. Awesome job. Michelle was locked and loaded. Yeah, though. she was. Michelle played lights out. Yeah, that was absolutely Strong incredible to watch. Player. Wow. I'm happy about that one. That was, whew. That was fun to watch. Yes, that was. Yeah. Incredible match. Gold is going to be going to Michelle Esquivel. Yep. Silver to Irina Tereshenko. Uh, both players should feel great about that. I mean, yeah. they both played incredibly well. They did. Uh, but the the winner of that is Michelle. Yep. And guess what, guys? Deserved. Yes. Yep. Uh, we have another winner that we're going to be announcing here very soon. Ooh. So, guys, for all of you that had shared this stream, we are going to be picking a winner from it here very shortly. And, wow, 29 shares that I'm seeing so far. Absolutely incredible. So, you have a 1 in 29, cha 20, uh, a one in 29 <laughs> chance of winning that. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick this at random here. And we have boom. Gail Bagwell. Gail. You are the winner, winner. big winner of that. And uh, we are super excited here. Again, we have this. Actually, no, I'm sorry. That's not That's what you paddle. want. What am I talking about here? Paddle, paddle. We have the silver medal award-winning Irina Tereshenko's paddle that you have won, Gail Bagwell. Wow. So, Gail, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and send a direct message to Pro Pickleball. And on there, go ahead and uh, let us know that you were the winner of the Irina Tereshenko signed paddle. And we'll get your contact information. Make sure we get that sent out to you. Uh, Lindsay. Thank you so thank much for coming have, on. Thank you for having me. Oh my thank God, you, are you kidding you. me? This has absolutely been this has been so much fun. Love we it. seriously appreciate you coming on. Anytime. I love it. And guys, we have plenty more action coming for you here. This is the 2019 Beer City Open, and we have another match coming up for you very shortly. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be back. <laughs>